Lift up the name of Jesus. Hello, New York. Hello, America. Hello, world. Growing up in church, we sang the words, I need somebody help me lift Jesus. Clap your hands. Help me lift Jesus. Stomp your feet. Help me lift Jesus. Shake your body. Help me lift Jesus. In the book of Isaiah 53, the prophecy foretells that Jesus is despised and rejected of men, that we reverence or honor then and now that he was stricken, smitten of God and afflicted for our sins, and that he would carry our sorrows to Calvary, where he would be wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities, and suffer chastisement for our peace. Our iniquities were laid on him, the text explains, and goes on to add that he was oppressed, insulted, beaten, grief-stricken, but he opened not his mouth. There are some of us who, if we were able to, will still do the same things to Jesus today, even though Jesus made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death, as the scripture states. And why? Because he had done no violence, nor was he guilty of deceit. The same scripture explains. Jesus the Christ made his soul an offering for sin. And today, because he is the Son of God, he is still interceding for all transgressors. We learn in Isaiah 53 how that Jesus was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed. My brethren, my friends, my fellow men, Jesus took our place, mine and yours, because we couldn't pay our own ransom debt to escape the captivity of sin and sinful nature, nor would we have been able to bear it. God the Father knew this. That is why he asked his son Jesus to replace us on the cross. And Jesus willingly accepted to pay the price for us, even knowing what he would have to suffer. That's why he said in Matthew chapter 26, Oh my Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. He later in John 12 said, The hour is come that the Son of Man should be glorified. And again in John 17, Jesus said to the Father, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy Son, that thy Son also may glorify thee. A second time Jesus said, O oh, my Father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, thy will be done. It was not an easy task, and Jesus knew it. But Jesus did it for you and for me. Amen. Do we need a better reason to lift up the name of Jesus? To clap our hands as we lift up the name of Jesus? To stomp our feet and lift Jesus higher? To shake our bodies as we lift up a praise of adoration? For not only that we have the all-powerful name of Jesus to call on or to call up when we need it, when we need him, but that he is our wonderful savior, our redeemer and our soon coming king. Hey, somebody help me lift him up. Hallelujah. Now, if you were blessed by this video, please like it, share and share with others today. Subscribe for more content. Thank you and God bless you.